Hey, my legion, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the second take of my review of this. Butch's Halloween Bat and Pumpkin Shaped Pretzel Tweet. I did it again. Pretzel Treats, not Tweets, Treats. Because I did it last night when I was tired. I did a skull face, man. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I broke my cardinal rule. I'll never do a video when you're tired because your heart really is not into it. And it, it, it came out okay, but yeah, I don't know. I wasn't too happy with it. So I decided to do it over again. Uh, basically, these are, uh, this was like, four, this giant box was four ninety six at Walmart. And pretty much, the one sad thing is, we don't get trick-or-treaters anymore. We live in a, you know, up this hill, middle of the woods. You know, in this trailer park thing, and uh, I don't know. When I was in the army, my dad said they had a bunch of trick or treaters. And then, when I got out, I I did the house out for Halloween, and barely any kids showed up. And then, after that, the number was slowly going down, to where we don't have any trick or treaters anymore. And also, I have to work on Halloween, which sucks. But I pretty much bought these for my for my review and for my supper, and to give out to friends and stuff. And there's forty. Like I said four ninety six at Walmart. There's forty treats. In a bag, and each bag is like a half an ounce. And this says it's a, uh, you know, these uh, shaped pretzels are healthy snack alternative for all your trick or treaters. They're only 50 calories per bag, which ain't bad. And you see the butch girl's like a little bit of a witch right there. See. And basically, they have two looking different kinds of bags. But I brought some. This is pretty good for me to bring to work also so I have a little snack room on my break and stuff. They have two different bags right there. You can see it says Bats and Jacks. Instead of saying Pumpkin it says Jacks and Jack and Lanterns right there. It's pretty cool. And then here's the other bag. Just a different switch on the color. And I figured let's open them up and check them out. And basically they're just regular pretzel sticks just shaped like uh, pumpkins and bats. So, let's try to check them out. And at some time, now I had some of these, tried some of these last, I thought them broken. Okay, now this isn't broken. Here's what the pumpkin one looks like. It looks pretty cool. Right there. Let's try it out. I think these are really high quality pretzels. I really like them. Oh, okay. Here's a good bat that's not broken. A lot of the bat ones are broken. This is what the bat one looks like. Pretty cool. And like I said, they're just regular pretzel sticks shaped like that. made from wheat, wheat and barley. The one thing is neat is uh, on the greens they have something called malt syrup derived from barley. I never heard of malt syrup before. But I mean there's so many wild ingredients and food and stuff like that. But these are really good. If you like pretzels and pretzel sticks and stuff like that you can't beat these. They got good detail. It's pretty cool. That's, I think the kids will like it but we don't have any trick or treat or so. Unless I guess I'll have to eat it myself and get some of my dad if he wants some. But these are really good stuff. Uh, I was saying with the arrow bar, they teamed up with Uts. Uts right here. Uts of Hanover. I bet you that it has to have something to do with the Hanover PA. It must be like a Canadian PA connection, I bet you. Which is pretty cool in itself. So I highly recommend these Halloween uh, pretzel tweets from. Did it again. Pretzel treats from Hooks. That's really good stuff. I think you'll like it. So until next time, oh, please like, share, and subscribe. Big shouts to the awesome Cat W Magic and to the equally awesome Patrick Barton and also to the equally awesome Josh Sorrells. They always mention me and stuff like that. So you guys rule. And, you know, like I said, uh, 
you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, video that Patrick Burton, Patty Burton, I did again. Patrick Barton did of the ranch and bacon pasta. I bet that'll be really good. So take care, my legion.